it's Charlie Allred with AwatukiHomesToday.com. And today we have six brand new homes to the Awatuki market, and there's only one of them that only has one photo. So when we get to it, you'll only see one photo. But the first one is 154,900. It's a two bedroom, two bath, 1,239 square feet. It's $125 a square foot, and it's at 44th Street and Chandler Boulevard. And I usually say a smoking deal is under 120 bucks a square foot. So let's take a look at this and see if it um, if it makes sense to be $125 a square foot. That's a still that is still a low price per square foot in Ahwatukee, absolutely. So there are nine photos, and they said this home is remodeled. Okay, so this is in um, I think it's in Mountain Park Ranch, which means you have the community pool. Now here is the, we'll call it the family room, dining area, kitchen, um, or walk-in living room, new tile, kitchen, new carpet. So it's move-in ready, but it's not upgraded, upgraded. They left the cabinets, they left the tub, um, new carpet, new floors, and it sounds like new paint. So this one actually, because it's still in that lower price, uh, under, around $150,000, I think it'll sell pretty quickly. Um, but it is only a two bedroom, two bath. So again, I don't think this is a, a huge steal. And again, these are my opinions. So I'm not always right. Someone may just buy the house because it's $150,000. I mean, that's a pretty good deal now with two key. All right, so next on the list is on 48th and Elliott. It is a traditional sale, another two bedroom, two bath. This one's 1,458 square feet. So this one's $118 a square foot. So let's take a look at this. Front looks low maintenance. Inside looks to be remodeled. Um, neutral paint, neutral tile. It's nice. Vaulted ceilings. So this one has a great price per square foot dining area. Kitchen could use a little bit of a remodel, but really the tile looks to go throughout, which is really a nice feature. Some wallpaper in the kitchen maybe you don't want. Paint is pretty cheap comparatively. Um, so the kitchen could use just a little updating. You know, you could remove the light box, you could add some can lights, um, but this is a pretty nice house for that 118 bucks a square foot. And the bathroom is not offensive at all. That's the master bath. You have a patio, that's nice. Really nice. And this is, I believe, a retirement home. Let's take a look. Let me read the description real quick should say special features or something like that. Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. It's an RTV, which I believe is retired, uh, the retirement. Desirable, active, adult, yeah, like I said, adult golf course community. So this is a retirement home. So it's a perfect home. It looks great. It's move-in ready. So for $172.5, I think that's a good deal. Again, we're under that $120 a square foot. All right, so next is Warner and 48th Street. This one, we're jumping into the 264.5, and it's four bedrooms, two baths, 1,901 square feet. This one is $139.14 a square foot. So it should be pretty nice, relatively speaking, and or have a pool. No pool, though, so let's see how nice it is. Okay, so the kitchen appears to have been remodeled at some point. It has um, Corian countertops. They look like stainless steel appliances. You have a backsplash. You still have the form, the old sink. I think this one may sit for just a little while. But it's clean. It has new tile, newer neutral tile. You have a cutout. That's interesting. In what would be the, I think this is supposed to be the dining room. They're sort of using it as like a living area, den area. Family room. Yeah, there's the family room right off the kitchen. Master bedroom. Master shower has newer tile. So they took the tile everywhere, which is nice around the tub. Still have the, the old cabinet in the master bath or the vanity. It's not a vanity. The cabinet and the counters are just the regular um, faux marble. I don't know what they're called. Something like that. Laundry, laundry sink. Here's your backyard, huge pool sized backyard. So you could put a pool in is what it says basically. Two car garage, so I think this one's gonna sit for just a little while. I think that price per square foot's a little high, just, just so you know. All right, so this is the house that only has the one picture. So it only shows the front of the house. So let's look at the details. 
Four bedrooms, three baths. We jumped to 2,488 square feet, $114 a square foot. That's a steal. This is this lovingly maintained four, possible five bedroom, three bath, two level home has it all. Here's your opportunity to own, own a home in a great quiet neighborhood. This one is in Hunter's Green, Chandler Boulevard and 42nd Street. And I believe, oh, builder name, it says M Development. It looks like a Richmond American actually, which is what I thought it was, but it's not. And this one's a regular sale, that's amazing. Has a sparkling pool. So this home again, 285 for a really good sized house, 2,488 square feet, three car garage. Um, it was built in 86. What we don't know is if this has been remodeled at all. So by, based on the price per square foot, I'm gonna guess it has not been remodeled inside from 1986, but I could totally be wrong. So let's move on. All right, so fifth on our list, on 46th Street, Elliott and 48th Street. And this is a three bedroom, two bath. It has a den, 1,786 square feet. This one's in Cambridge Heights neighborhood. And it says it's absolutely, an, it says an absolutely gorgeous cottage charmer. And this is a regular sale as well. It's regular sale day. I didn't tell you the price per square foot on that one, sorry. This one's $167.97 a square foot. Um, so here we go. So it has a beautiful pool and a big backyard. All right. So the house does look like a cottage. That's good. So this one's been fully remodeled. Look at this beautiful kitchen, granite countertops, beautiful cabinets, right? Stainless steel appliances, upgraded sink faucet. You've got the works. You have a fan in the kitchen, big kitchen too. This is a nice remodel, a really nice remodel actually. You have beautiful light fixtures. Whether you like them or not is another story, but they're nice upgraded ones. They're not, you know, cheesy. Oops, sorry, I missed a photo. Double sinks in the master bathroom. You have a TV in there too, do you see that? Uh -huh. So this one, price per square foot is high. You have a wet bar in the den. That's amazing. Um, yeah, this home is really lovely. So this one, like I said, is a high price per square foot, but look at how cute it is. And that's why it's remodeled. People want to move in. Don't you want to live here? It's adorable. So that, this one's $300,000, which is going to be significantly higher than that neighborhood, I will say. But it's beautiful. Look at that yard. It looks really large. All right. So last on our list is that Ray and Ranch Circle Drive. This one's a four bedroom, three bath. You have a den or an office because there's an extra room. 3,155 square feet. This one's 174 bucks a foot. And we're in Canyon Estates here. So let's see what type of sale this is. Dun, 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 dun. This one is a regular sale and it's an owner agent. So the person who owns the home is the agent. Let's take a look. Nice looking home, right? Really nice. This is a nice luxury home. You walk in, you have a step down to the living room. You have the stairs on the left. You have big windows to see the yard. So there's your staircase. This is the master bedroom. We've done some nice stuff to this home. Master bath looks to be upgraded, newer sinks, high counters. Granite in the kitchen. You have some white cabinets. You have a white um, refrigerator, a black dishwasher, black, um, black ovens. So the refrigerator is probably white to blend in. Let me go back one. To blend in with the cabinets here. You, may, you could do stainless if you wanted. I like stripes on the wall. I think that's nice in a kitchen, but if you don't like it, obviously paint is easy. Nice light fixtures. This is a nice looking home. Um, it is a little bit higher price per square foot and it jumps into a little bit of what you call the luxury area. You have a pool. Um, the FHA loans go up to, I think it's 346, five or six. And so when you get into this higher range, you either have to get a jumbo loan and put you know 20% down or you have to put down enough so that you only do a loan for 346, which we've had a lot of clients do that lately actually, buying luxury homes, putting a significant amount down, and then they just get the loan for 346, the max of FHA, and they pay three and a half percent as well on the 346 amount. So it's you, you end up with a lot more money down, um, but you get good rates on those FHA loans, which is the reason they do it. Um, this is a great home, so three or 549. I like this one, and I think this one is pretty neutral. I'm going to run through it again because I kind of like it, um, and maybe I won't run through the whole thing. It's pretty neutral. Some things you may not like. There's some faux painting. Maybe you just cover that with neutral paint. 
um, again, faux painting. But all in all, it looks like a pretty livable house. All right, cool. Well, I am Charlie Allred with AwatukiHomesToday.com. We're excited for you to find your new home if you've been missing out on homes because there's a ton of buyers out there right now. This video tour is really to help you um, see exactly what's out there. These homes have only been on the market a day. Um, and that's, that's really the goal. So we can also set up a portal for you or you can set it up yourself. We have a tutorial on awatukihomestoday.com. You can set up your own portal, look at the search day and night as often as you want so you can jump on the house that you want. And we're looking forward to helping you. Thanks so much.